Hey, what's up guys? Got some more SMT5. SMT5. What is that? Got some more Tales of Arise for you today. Yeah, I wish it was SMT5, as much as I like this game. It's so weird to see Alf and all. He looks so weird, man. He looks very strange without his, uh... Typical attire. That last video was, uh, it was something else, man. It's kind of emotional, too. Alfin finally feeling pain now. Niori. Shion. I... What? Really fighting things right now? Got no time to be fighting things. Oh, I don't have the blazing sword anymore. Oh. That's kind of awkward. That was why I was waiting to do my attacks and I couldn't. Yeah, that's kind of awkward, huh? That's kind of fucking awkward, man. I got so used to having that thing. Also, without my teammates, it takes so long to kill stuff. Makes me miss Rinwell. Broken ass Rinwell. Okay, this is taking a long time. Did I lose all my armor or something? Am I like, am I using the starting gear in the game? Anytime now, there we go, holy shit. That's certainly take its damn time. Were you watching me? Uh, you watching me get shit alive. on? Are you alright? Yeah. I'm just glad we found you in one piece. You were the only one still missing. There's a village back the way we came from, Thistleim. Kisara and La are already there. Rinwell, where are we? Ganis Haros, Bolron's realm, remember? Ushered by the waves straight to the enemy stronghold. A rare stroke of luck, it would seem. Luck? If Bolron's here, that means Shion's close too, right? Shion? Oh. Right. Of course. Are you sure you're feeling okay? You seem a little... off. <sighs> He's probably just exhausted. Let's save the catching up for when we're back at the village. <sighs> Is nobody gonna say anything about the fact I don't have my mask anymore? I feel like that's a pretty good plot- pretty big plot point to just, uh, disregard. Retired Adventure. Okay, Rinwell got some more AG. Always welcome. What about, uh, yeah, this one. Meals cooked, roasted chicken. Oh, we have to cook roasted chicken? I see. That's, uh, kind of interesting, I guess. 
Yeah, I still want to wait for this faster AG recovery. I think faster AG recovery is just too broken. It's way too good. Dohalim has a lot of SP. Might actually be able to use Dohalim now that uh, shion has gone. It's kind of fucking sad, but... Eh, yeah, it is what it is, you know? It's... Gotta take the punches as they come. Wait, what? Astro Crystal. Some fishies over here. I like this realm. It's a pretty realm. That edgy swordsman has some uh, he has some good taste, I'll give it to him. Mosul. Let's see what you've got. I've never actually seen Dohalim in action. So this should be interesting. Oh, Dohalim's now my healer, too. Oh. Yeah, that's right. No Shion. Yeah, I, I feel very weak. Like, it feels like I'm not taking these guys out well at all. Dohalim actually seems like he has some pretty good skills, so maybe we'll use him more than once. Maybe we'll switch him out for, uh, probably switch him out for, for Kisala. I feel like Kisala doesn't do anything. She's a really good, she has a really good ability, but she's not that... Oh, hello, Mr. Hutul. Speaking of Thistleim, it's populated by Danans, but they're not under the rule of any lord. Pretty refreshing, huh? The whole town was built by Danon defectors, escapees from elsewhere. This area is teeming with stray zoogles, though, so heaven only knows how they managed to set up a community here. The ordeal seems to have left them understandably on edge. Kisara and La are back there right now, trying to convince them of our good intentions. <sighs> Say, Elfin, it looks like you got your face back then. Yeah. And your sense of pain, too, it would seem. Any connection? Really? Oh, but that means... Probably. <sighs> I wonder if Alvin's going to be okay. <laughs> For now, I believe we should hold off on speculation and simply keep an eye on him. You guys know I can hear you, right? I'm right next to you. You know, we're all one team. I can hear what you're saying. You talking shit about me? Yeah, calm down, Mr. Hoodle. We have plenty of exploring to do, my friends. But, uh, we will go see that. How do you even... There we go. Oh, he's got an eye patch or something. Maybe... Yeah, let, let's put an eye patch on Alfin. I feel like Alfin would do well with an eye patch. Outfits. Uh, Veil is the eye patch. Actually, no, that it doesn't look good. It looks so good on the Hoodle, but it doesn't look good on him. Can't believe I'm saying that, but... We need Alfin to be edgy. We need to give him something edgy. I guess the edgiest thing we have is the horns. Yeah, I guess, I guess they are, because he's like, he's all fucked up, you know? He ain't doing so well. He is not doing so hot. Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? <laughs> Hello? Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well? Did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back.
So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenigus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the crown contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess... They were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maid and they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Nayori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit... Coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenigus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. I 
I shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus, nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the Crown Contest, to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... <laughs> He's a boomer. <laughs> That's right. I'm pretty much an antique of a human being. Deep down, maybe I already knew. Alfin, some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter, only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Kisara. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. <coughs> this is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. You guys run out of the room quick enough? You see that shit? They're like, yep, yep, fuck this guy. I, do I even have the right to fight? Do I have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? Yes, you do, Alfin. Suck it up, big boy. We got shit to do. Also, I looked at the 100% for this game, and apparently it takes like 200 hours. Because there's some uh, campfire... There's some campfire RNG or some shit like that. So hopefully they patch that, because I don't want to spend... I really don't want to spend 200 hours... 200 hours on this game. I, I love this game, but... I don't want to spend that much time. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so they want me to talk to my teammates. But I think I would rather take a look around. See if there's any nice fellows in here for me to steal. Uh, I mean, uh, procure some items from. I like the direction this, this uh, last act took, though. Make it sad, make it depressing. Because the good thing is, if it's sad now, that means the ending won't be sad, right? 
Right. Right. All this time, I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely, too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well, you can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <laughs> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nah. -uh. I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwell. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering. Just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah. All this time you were suffering right in front of me. And I never even knew. I feel like... I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely. All by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. Let's get going, team. We got some bitches to kill. Yeah, so it seems like they... Uh, whenever there's lots of interactions like this in anime games, I always feel like the climax is coming. The big old climax. Also, can we buy some things? Kind of need some new equipment. Kind of running low on them supplies. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenigus, anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Naori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenigus abducted? You're saying they forced Naori? One of their own? To serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> she stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. 
I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. And I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will, right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but if you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? To get in Shion's panties. Uh, I mean, uh, for the prosperity of the realm. Yes, 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 yes. Seems like there's a lot of talking. Considering we just had the boat, like that cruise ship thing, like 15 minutes ago. Well, not 15 minutes ago, like three or four videos ago. Seems to be lots of yapping, which is fine, you know, I get it. Gotta have your exposition and your... Oh, it's gonna be okay, Alfin, everything's great. Oh, what a cute... Oh, what a cute little hootle making that noise. I right, got ourselves another hootle. Let's uh, take a look at this. Why can't we change the outfit? So I guess my party disbanded for whatever reason. Oh, it's so cute. Even though it looks kind of weird on Alfin. I think that would look good on... Um, I bet you that would actually look good on uh, Law. I know that sounds kind of derpy, but... Alfin, are we gonna go rescue Shion or what? <sighs> What's gotten into you, man? Aren't you worried about her? Do I even have any right to be? If you were in my place, you'd say, to hell with all that. What do you want to do? Sounds like me. Pretending I have all the answers is kind of my forte. <laughs> Come on, man. Snap out of it. This isn't like you. Look, I get it. You finally remember your past, only to feel like you've lost yourself again. You're in shock, and who wouldn't be? Worse still, you blame yourself for what happened. And yeah, I don't agree, but that doesn't mean I don't understand either. But here's the thing. None of that's got anything to do with Xion. I guess. It's about Naori, isn't it? Look, you're still here, aren't you? Who's to say this chick isn't alive and kicking out there somewhere, too? <sighs> Fine, I've said my piece. The thing is, though, where does this leave Xion? I... <sighs> my power consumed me once already. I left behind a path of fire and destruction. And the same thing could happen again. I can't guarantee anyone's safety, including Xion's. So you think we might get burned up because of your sovereign powers? I can think of worse ways to go. Come on, fight this thing! What happened to the guy who talked to me after my dad died? The one who cared enough to reach out and save me? That's the guy I was proud to follow. Not this faltering imposter who's taken his place. Law. No, I'm serious. What's gotten into you, man? Just give me the word and I'll beat some sense into you if that's what it takes. Now, I'm gonna ask you this once and only once. Are you serious about rescuing Xion or not? What's it gonna be, Alfin? <laughs> what do you think? Of course I want to rescue her. Hell, I'd do it right now if I could. 
So then quit griping and do it already! <sighs> Listen, you're probably right about all this. Alfin... It's exactly like you said. Whatever happened in my past has nothing to do with Xion. But there's still so much that I... There I go again. So much for the inspiring Alfin of old. Eh, he could be a pain sometimes. Besides, even a hero has to let the crack show once in a while, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Just give me a little more time to fill in the cracks. And thanks, Law. Hey, don't even mention it. You've totally got this, Alfin. I believe in you. That was a pretty Chad conversation by Law. I'll give it to him. That was pretty Chad. I kind of want to say the same thing to Alfin. Like, uh, what you doing, bro? Get your fucking ass up and go save your waifu. I literally made a crown for you two. Okay, I ship you two. Everybody ships you two. So stop being such a fucking bait. All that for a life bottle? It's like a thousand gold. It's like nothing. What the fuck? Get some fishies? I hate that loading so much. God, it's so annoying. Okay, only have one more person to talk to, and that's uh, Dohalim, who uh, probably will just say something mystical like, Oh, Alfin. You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their Sovereign in the first place? <laughs> and then there is the Maiden. A figure so powerful, she's playing Yin to the Sovereign's Yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term Sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales. And yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes. Or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is... Just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost. But I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. Back let's the get end, back guess. out there. Okay, let's uh, continue on with the main story, because I think we've had enough exposition, we've had enough yapping. Plenty of yapping to go around. What is it? Zoogles, that's what! They're almost at the village gates! Any closer and they'll be house hunting. I knew we shouldn't have cut through their territory. That... sounds bad. Can you fight? No shame in bowing out if you're not up for it. Hisara's right. You don't want to go overdoing it. I... <sighs> I'm up for it. Really? You ready? 
As ready as I'll ever be. It's now or never, right? Alfin, right. Great to have you back. Now let's do this. Huggers. Oh, who's this? Law? Bumbling fighting extraordinaire. Increase maximum agility by one. That's always good to have. Always take more agility skills. Thank you, thank you. At the same time, let's see here. Uh, let's give Kisala some new stuff, even though we said we're going to stop using her. Um, actually, we won't stop using her. We'll, we'll, we're not going to use Law. Let's do... Oh, this one's good. That's, a, that's just like a good fucking skill, the fuck? That's just good. Okay. Let's also go for... Let's go for Crescent Moon. Get some more earth damage. Sharp, people. If we don't, Always take more earth damage. Okay, let's uh, make sure our party is in the correct setting. Yes, it is kind of. Now it is. Well, I want to see how Dohalim does. Right. Besides, we, we need, need an actual healer. Because uh, Dohalim and Shion are the only two healers in the game, I believe. I don't think anybody else has any healing skills. Remember, if the paint's too much... We've all got our own pain to deal with. I'm done letting others pick up my slack. Here they come! Ah, oh, shit. Old Alphans back. Hoggers. Okay, this is... Fuck. I, cha I, I changed something. This thing has so much armor, man. Fuck me, man. This, this sometimes the camera get, the camera gets a little screwy in this game. I will say it's only a little bit of a complaint, but still. That still took a long time. I think I actually had my party members messed up in the wrong way, so that was my mistake. You okay? I'm fine. This pain thing really hurts, huh? But hey, at least you're still alive. It wouldn't be called pain if it was pleasant. It can be pretty useful, though. It's good motivation to improve and get stronger. Guess I've got a lot of room to improve in that regard. Anyway, I'm glad we could protect the village, especially after everything they've done for us. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this alum kind of reminds me of home. The people here have hidden themselves away out of the fear of being found, always watching their backs. Though in the end, home was destroyed anyway. That won't happen here. Oh? Is that a hint of fighting spirit I sense? Yeah. I won't lie. Some of these memories will take a while to process. But I've learned something too. My rage. This fury I feel at our so-called rulers. It comes from having so much of myself stripped away from me back then. Friends, family, home. They took everything from me and left me with nothing but guilt. I was completely alone. At least that's what I thought. But not anymore.
Since I awakened, I've met people who I care about. Friends who hold me up. Friends who make me feel like I'm worth something. And I won't lose that. Not ever again. I'll protect those bones with everything I have. That's why I need to keep fighting. But Xi'an comes first. Of course. First we rescue Xi'an. Then we defeat Volron and liberate Dana. Everyone, will you fight with me? Say the word and I'm there. Certainly no objections. Then it's agreed. Our next stop will be the capital, Pelegion. According to the villagers, there's a huge cliff separating Thistleum from the capital. Luckily for us, there's a path we can use to climb up. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. We don't know what lies ahead. We should prepare well before we venture forth. Yes, yes, yes. AKA, where is my inn? Is there finally gonna... Okay, good, good. I was gonna say, man, give me some fucking, give me some materials, give me something to work with here because. Can't exactly fight at the top of your game when you're hungry. Good point. Let's stop by the inn and plan our next move from there. Mahavar gone missing. Mahaga Mahavar Ragunathan. By the way, how is Mahavar doing? Uh. <sighs> Wait. Don't tell me we still haven't found him. It's not like we haven't been looking. I've covered the whole length and breadth of the coast, but... All of the other crew members are accounted for, including us. But we weren't able to find Mahavar. He's still missing. I see. Perhaps he couldn't bring himself to abandon the ship. <laughs> you mean at the bottom of the ocean? Damn it. We don't know that it sank. We all washed up on the same shore. If the ship went down... Isn't it strange we haven't come across a single piece of debris? Do you think he might still be alive somewhere out there? I think stranger things have happened. Whether he's alive or otherwise, we've exhausted all the avenues available to us. All we can do now is press on ahead. Fine, let's get going. I have a feeling that Mahavar is actually... Volin, but like in a disguise. I think that's going to be the plot twist. Thistleim was founded by Danans fleeing the tyranny of Renan lords, right? But when you first came, they must have known Dohalim was Renan. So why do you think they let us in? They almost didn't. But it wasn't just Dohalim they were wary of. They didn't trust any of us. Even the weird Danans just like them? When you live life in constant fear of being pursued, it's only a matter of time before all outsiders start to seem a potential threat. I suppose that makes sense. So how did you convince them to trust us? You saw how destitute the village was. They needed food, badly. We hunted some zoogles for them. That seemed to do the trick. Of course, a little magic-assisted roast didn't hurt things. Never underestimate a full stomach's ability to put a person at ease. It turns out a hearty meal can be a powerful weapon. Very, very true, by the way. If you're ever super hungry, well, if I get super hungry, I get into a pretty bad mood pretty quickly, and I think, I think most males do. I'm, I'm not trying to like sex. Uh, I'm not trying to like. Yeah, let, let's not go there. Actually, what am I saying? <sighs> Something's on your mind. You having second thoughts about rescuing Xion? Of course not. Xion's our friend. Oh, um, Madria was the one I hated. For as long as I can remember, she served as a symbol to me of everything Renan. But ever since getting to know Xion, I realized it doesn't make sense to group people together like that. Every individual is different. I see. Besides, the situation with Almadria was something else entirely. I'd already decided I wasn't going to kill her, but when I saw her die right in front of me, a part of me thought it served her right. That she'd gotten what she deserved. 
but another part regretted that someone else had come along and killed her instead. Don't get me wrong. If I had the chance again, I still wouldn't kill her. But it's not like I'll be shedding any tears now that she's gone. <sighs> it's all so confusing. I don't know how to make sense of any of it. Who said it had to make sense? Huh? Rinwell, you've done nothing wrong. You've started to question the beliefs you've held all your life. It's only natural for you to feel disoriented. You didn't give in to the hatred you felt for Almadria. You made a choice not to kill her. And that's significant, whether you realize it or not. As for what it means exactly, that might be worth taking some time to figure out on your own. Some time. Or don't, if you don't want to. It's just an idea. I'm still searching too, remember? No, you're... I think you're right. It can't hurt to keep searching after all. And hey, thanks, Kisara. Thanks, Mommy. You're always there to help me. Alright, let's see. Do we have any new weapons we can make? We should, because we should have plenty of new materials. Uh, let's see. We need lustrous- oh shit, we, we're getting into level 5 materials. That's actually kind of cool. But we still don't have enough for her. We could make crystal knuckles if we wanted to. Yeah, I think I will do that actually. Yeah, make them. Thank you very much. Uh, we can also make this item. Arts of the Cosmos, might as well go for it. Uh, Colomni Colomnio Latio. Colomna Latio. Latio, maybe. Revised Flashbang Shield. I think I'd rather wait for the Lustrous Astral Crystal. Not that I have a choice. Cool! Getting new materials all the time. We also have a decent amount of money, which is a rarity. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? You guys checked your equipment? Eh? Tofu? Oh, cool. Get some tofu. Uh, this is all way better armor than we have, so... Might as well equip it, I guess. Why is this armor so much better than what we have? What the fuck? Did I miss out on some armor or something? I guess it's possible. Did we really just spend that much money? Yes, we did. Spending money is good for the soul. Not so much the bank account. So if you make this roasted chicken, you actually get... It's really weird. You get, like... You get a, a, a new emblem? Good. This came out just the way I hoped. I'm not, not too sure about that one. I don't know what that does, but... I guess we'll make it, you know? Might as well. What did this say? I didn't even see what this saw. Infernal Tongue. When sent flying, press... Okay, cool. Increase counterattack critical hit rates. KO Prevention. So we finally have access to KO Prevention. That's uh, very good to see. KO Prevention is one of those skills. Like, it doesn't seem good, but it really is. It actually is pretty good. I think we'll wait until this one, though. So I can get the plus 30 elemental attack. And I think that's good for now. Let's, uh... We can continue at this point. Get on our merry way. So there's a dwelling. Actually, I want to go back to... Yeah, oh, we can't fast travel. What the fuck? Are you serious? That's so shitty. Hmm. Yeah, that's too bad. I was hoping to fast travel back to the owls. I want to see what new outfit they had for me because... I if something happened. I've actually been very consistent with the owls. Let's see what this uh, side quest is first before we leave. Okay. See what this kind man has for me. Yes, 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 yes. You want me to kill Zoogles? Sure. Okay. Great. Fishing fiends. Uh, whatever that could be, I do not know. I'll teach these small fry who's the apex predator of these waters. Just watch and see. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. Defeats four terrapine fist. Okay, I guess that's just a Zoogle, so. It's a good thing we took that before moving on. You 
sense one of your pals, Hoodle? You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Oh, there's a fish. Got a new fishing fishing location. We also have a campfire over there too. It feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe. It's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. <laughs> yeah, so funny, guys. You're so funny. You make me laugh so hard. Oh shit, I, m I meant to change my arts, damn fuck. That's such a good skill, what the fuck? Because it keeps him juggled the whole time. That's why it's so broken. Yeah, what the fuck? It's so good, man. Also, why is this thing taking no damage? Yeah, I need to change my arts up a bit, because I got really used to having a certain certain combo. So let's move you over there. Yeah, and let's move you over there. That's what I had before. I think I had Rinwell on the right, yeah. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. Everybody okay? Daddy Alfin's here. Ready to keep an eye on you. Okay, so we have a fishing area over there. That's cool. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Uh, let's take a look at the fishing area. Wow, we there's a lot of fish here there's we haven't nice caught. Here. So I'm not gonna bother with this because, like I said, it, it doesn't make any sense to. It doesn't make any sense to do any of this fishing on video, but. Is that the we're looking nonetheless. The fuck? Damn mate. Get your ass out of here, boy. Oh, that's the first time I've seen that one. Cool. That was rather cool indeed. I can become even stronger. Yeah, so we got some... Um, that was nice. That was nice. Okay, good. So we're still working on that side quest. Man, that is what I like to see. With foliage. I know. It feels like we're so going much to foliage. By all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. So what exactly did this food buff we got? I, th I think it makes us more vulnerable to enemies. Like they see us quicker or something. Can't say that's my favorite skill, but I guess we unlocked an emblem. So it's sort of worth it. Okay, you stop juggling, okay? I I'm gonna take that skill off her. I don't like her juggling. It messes up my juggle. Actually, actually, that's good. Can you take it? Dance in the wind! Throwing light spear! Holy hang fight! Let me save you this 
Radiant Genesis. So Kawhi. Doho Aim's actually a pretty good fighter, isn't he? Yeah, this is like, I mean, it's like the first time I really used him, but I may switch him out for Kisala when, once we get Shion back. That is, if we get Shion back. Fuck me, man. That hurricane thrust, I do not like that skill. I need to switch it up for something else. Lightning Tiger Blade! So cute when they say that. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we've explored this area. Let's go this way now. I like to do all these in one run. Because it's just it's just better for me. I like to get them all out of the way. Nice and completionist. Yeah, see, the problem is with Hurricane for us is it takes too long to juggle. The fuck are they? There are. Sixty-four eighty critical. That's insane. That's an Everyone's insane amount of damage for one hit. Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. That's fucking crazy. Okay, so I've already gone this way. Good. Thanks, man. You notice people are talking way less? I wonder if that like that was like Shion bantering the whole time. There's been like no banter actually, what the fuck's going on? I'll stop your life, I'm low. I find that hard to believe, seeing how you took a lot of damage that fight, but... You do you, Kisala. Okay, okay... Here's the Zoogle we were... ...asked to handle. Discourteous, aren't you? In a bind! Stand still, my pretty. Seems like we're doing more, way more damage than the last few videos. I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way, but... Yeah, it seems like we're actually doing quite well. Also, this is a good time to end this video. I didn't realize how far we were going, but... Uh, We'll go this way next time, and then we'll continue on with the main story, of course, to this direction. Until then, guys, I shall bid you adieu, and see you for the next one.